here's the cool thing. We don't do this very often. We have no idea where we're going tonight. We're just gonna start driving and go until we start feeling like we need to stop and find a place to stay overnight. It's we usually have loose plans or tight plans. This time we have no plans. No plans. Alrighty guys, this is what living in the moment is all about. So we get to the ferry terminal. We have an hour and 10 minutes to wait, which is unfortunate because it's gonna make us late for our coffee date with Glenn and Heidi of Caslo Bean Roasters. But in the meantime, look where we get to wait. Isn't this amazing? Like I'll show you, watch this. Our motor home is right up there. It's just in the waiting zone up there, parked. Our house actually is parked right there. Kent's making coffee and Daphne and I are down here on this lovely little beach. She's playing in the water. I was waiting in the water. It is actually tempting to go put my bathing suit on and go for a swim, which I might do. I don't think so though. I think it's just gorgeous to sit down here. I think I'm gonna go grab a lawn chair and put my feet in the water and drink my coffee and just enjoy living in the moment and grabbing as much life out of today as we possibly can. I just woke up from a long nap, Kent did that big long windy drive and this is it guys, it's gorgeous out here, loving it. Sorry Glenn and Heidi that we're gonna be late meeting you for coffee but in the meantime, this is pretty awesome. So, cheers. cheers. When you're waiting for the ferry. That's what I just said. <laughs> and you've got a generator, water, a coffee maker. It's coffee time. Wow, pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome. What day is today? Oh yeah, Thursday. We are driving along. I smell the sawmill lumber that's just freshly cut. It smells glorious. I'll tell you guys, full-time RV life is pretty amazing. Kent and I have just spent some time visiting with one of our patron families and <laughs> RV people are amazing people. That is the biggest reason why we have a YouTube channel and why we love to share our adventures with you guys. We love hearing your stories of how you started to RV and your whole RV life is amazing. We, we share with people that full-time RV, however they do it, which means you could be working, you could be uh, not working, yep. you could be traveling, you could be not traveling. It doesn't matter. If you're living full-time in an RV, you have a whole bunch of people that don't get what you're doing. <laughs> but that's okay because they don't need to get what you're doing. You just need to love what you're doing. So Ken, what did we see the other day when we were just driving along Highway 3? Oh, we were getting towards Crow's Nest Pass. We saw a nice little meadow with a little bit of a hill and two horses just started galloping out in the in the in the in the field down it just looked beautiful i think what breathtaking one, one thing that's beautiful about that is when when horses are running oh and there's some deer wow just munching away <laughs> drinking water we'll show you that because we have that on the webcam <laughs> or the dash cam anyway one of the best best things i love about watching horses run is it's just a sense of freedom and a sense of independence and power and, and power and and teamwork because they're a herd they always go together so I just love watching horses but you guys we are today traveling uh, up to Caslo BC we're gonna meet up with our couple who does our coffee roasting so hopefully we can get some footage of their setup there and if you don't know what we're talking about we're talking about Living Bold RV Coffee 
go to livingletrb.com slash coffee and you can order your very own exclusive blend. You can only get it through Living Light RV. It is amazingly delicious coffee. In Canada. In Canada only. We are, if you guys know of a coffee roaster in the US. We reached like out to one, local, it didn't work yet. Yeah, so like a local kind of coffee roaster. Let us know because we are looking for a US roaster that we can work with. So, because we know you guys want some Living Gold RV coffee as well. Anyway, let's do this. A beautiful road trip, beautiful day. Have you ever been to Caslow? Hot dog. I don't know that I have actually. I've never been to Caslow. Very nice. Pretty awesome. All right, let's do this. road and we went up and over a mountain and now we're at the ferry terminal. Look at this. There you go. Wow, There's the that's beautiful departures. Okay. That's a decent distance to go yeah. across. There's a schedule there if you want. There's washrooms. show you where we stayed last night this is literally like a pull out off the highway like you can see right there there's a car coming I can hear it <laughs> so definitely not the quietest place we've ever stayed but at night I don't think we heard even one vehicle come by so it's just busy during the day it was free of course because it's just a roadside pull out and there's no um there's no signage saying you can or can't park here but you guys you got to check out this view isn't this amazing? Yep, so that's where we stayed last night and We've had a busy couple of days getting up early and having long days of driving. I don't know if you said it, but there's it's a good active road during the day, but at nighttime, from sundown to sunup, three cars maybe. I know. I saw, I didn't think I heard anybody, but I don't hear much. And the I'm ferry doesn't anyway. run at night, so there's no ferry traffic either that way. So that's probably one of the reasons. Yeah, exactly. So and we didn't see this on any app or on any 
you know, map or anything like that. We were just driving down the highway. We saw it on our way into town uh, near Caslow, BC. And then we said, you know what, let's stay there. So we did. No problem. No uh, interruptions. Hey, Floof, did you Internet. have a good night? Internet and wi and uh, and cell phone. Yeah, no, wi no Wi-Fi, but definitely had no. good cell service. Well, I, I made a hotspot, so that was good. Oh, perfect. Dad is there. And we are ready to hit the road at the crack of noon. <laughs> so let's go explore more of beautiful British Columbia. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on today's episode for season six. And my name is Lisa. My name is Kent and we're Living Light RV. We're out there grabbing life by the tail because you never know what tomorrow holds. We need to get out there and live life in the moment. Don't wait for the weekend. Don't wait for, wait for retirement. Get out there and just embrace as much life as you possibly can. If, you, if it takes downsizing, get it done. Yeah, we've been living full time in our RV for a couple years now and absolutely loving it. And we'd love to take you guys along with us, encourage you as far as adventuring, inspiration, as well as how to do full time RV living. Let's do this.